Yankee baseball history. Um, Christian's relationship with our team, with our city, with our community is, is unique. It's, it's very rare that a player and a team's identities become so intertwined in such a short period of time. And that's happened here with Christian, the Brewers, the state of Wisconsin, and the city of Milwaukee. Um, deals like, like the one we're announcing today, with its level of complexity, with its length, with all the moving parts, only come together with concerted efforts from everyone involved. We're sitting here today because of a player who wanted to make a commitment to a franchise, to a community, and because of an owner who was willing to go to unprecedented lengths to make it happen. I'd also like to thank Joe Longo, Christian's agent, who throughout this process worked tirelessly to get this done. Joe's creativity, his persistence, allowed us to overcome hurdles that in other negotiations may have proven insurmountable. You know, when, when Christian first became a brewer and throughout his time as a brewer, he has made it known that his, his number one priority is to help our organization attain its first world championship. Talking to, to Christian over the offseason, talking to him over the past few weeks here in Arizona, I know that that priority remains, and I know that he's as committed to it as ever. So with that, thank you, everyone, for being here, and I'll turn it over to Mark. <clears throat> thanks, David, and uh, thank you, Christian. Thank you. And uh, also echo thanks to Joe Longo, who uh, say persistence and creativity uh, definitely helped get this done. I uh, was very challenging for me to come at this because I always feel I'm a fan first. And uh, what Brewers fan in the uh, 50th year that we're celebrating in our existence wouldn't want to come up with a, a way to keep Christian here for his career. And, uh, and so I was terribly excited about this and, uh, you know, just am delighted that he continued to want to uh, work with us on it as we, as we face some structural challenges. And I uh, guess it will come up at some point in the, uh, the Q&A, but, but Christian and his team really worked with us so that we could keep him part of our organization uh, for his, you know, we hope his entire career. Uh, with that, I want to just echo what everybody sees on the field is is an MVP. Uh, but we've got that same MVP when it comes to leadership, how much of a leader and leadership that Christian brings, the kind of a teammate he is, and uh, the selfless things he does in the community, man many of which are not uh, visible because he really doesn't look for attention. And uh, he does countless things privately in the community that no one knows. And oftentimes, I don't know, I may be here after the fact once or twice. So when you look at, at a commitment like this for our organization, it couldn't be given to anyone more deserving than Christian. And I, I don't think there's anything better for our community in Milwaukee and Wisconsin than and having him be uh, an integral part of us. So thank you, Christian. And uh, I guess that's... Christian? Yeah. Well, it's obviously an exciting day for myself and my family, and I want to thank Mark, David, uh, Joe, and Tom. Just uh, it's, It was a unique process. Um, you know, it's, it was um, interesting at times, and uh, I'm really glad that... I am able to spend uh, the foreseeable future here, um, the rest of my career as a Milwaukee brewer. Uh, you know, I've said many times that I've only been here for, for two years, but it feels like uh, it's been a lot longer. And ever since I came here, it just felt like a, a natural fit, uh, a place that was great for myself and, and my family and uh, formed a connection with the community, my teammates, everyone from ownership to the front office on down. And as a player, that's that's what you want. You want a chance to win something that feels organic. And 
it felt right to me and I, I didn't really have aspirations to, to play anywhere else. And, you know, fortunately we were able to, to work things out to where we won't have to worry about that anymore. And uh, like I said, it's a really great day for my, my family and, and just everyone involved has been, been great and exciting times and um, just really enjoyed playing in the city of Milwaukee, the state of Wisconsin. Um, the fan base embraced me from day one. And for me, it's just a really special place to play. And like you said, our goal here is to, to eventually bring a World Series to uh, Milwaukee and, and to the Brewers organization. And we're now going to have that opportunity over the next nine years. Thank you, Christian. Uh, we'll take uh, questions. Tom? This is for either Christian or Mark. I think everybody would want to know who went first here. Somebody had to go first. Who stuck out their hand first? Yeah, I don't know what kind of what story, which, which of the story do you want to tell. <laughs> Sometimes Debbie and I try to figure that out in our marriage. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> you know, we um, over the the two years that Christians played for us, we developed a, an intimate relationship and an ability to discuss things um, openly. And so Christian, you know, had indicated to me that he might like to talk about an arrangement which will allow him to uh, retire as a brewer. And so Joe Longo reached out to me and on. Uh, Halloween, we, we got together for lunch on Halloween, so I guess it was trick or treat, and it turned out to be a treat. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, does that sort of yeah, that's comport? A, that's a good yeah. lunch. <laughs> this has been going on since Halloween? Yeah. yeah. You know, Tom, one of the things I said to you, and I don't want to jump over Christian here, but one of the things I said to Christian, um, you know, uh, a transaction over $200 million in size in, in the corporate world I come from, this would be considered fast. <laughs> you know, it's, it's uh, complex, it's structured, it's a, it's a uh, huge amount of money, uh, and, and I think uh, it was at every step we were moving forward. Of course, you always want to move forward, you know, quicker, but it, there was a lot of elements to it, and uh, I'm pleased we are able to get it done pretty much before Christian's played his first game, and today will be the, the first game. First game, yeah. Adam? Christian, this is a kind of crazy question. We're talking about this amount of money, but do you feel like you are taking a hometown discount to stay? No. I mean, this is a place that I wanted to play and to be. Um, you know, I realized that I had three years before free agency, but above all else, I really meant it when I said that I wanted to finish my career as a Milwaukee Brewer and not only do that but be a part of winning teams um, as a Brewer and that's very important to myself um, like you said it's, it's a large sum of money people are always going to ask the what ifs did you leave it did you not but um, you know I play the game to win and to be a part to be a part of a place that I feel comfortable um, I take pride in representing and for me that this was that place um and that's how i made this decision and it wasn't it, it wasn't one that i took lightly uh, I, I spent a lot of time talking about it with with my family and uh representatives but at the end of the day we felt that this was right i felt it was right and what i wanted to do and um i couldn't be happier today over here on the left jesse Well, first step in having a competitive team is having a player of Christian's caliber on the roster. And so um, having that, knowing that Christian's going to be here now for the better part of a decade um, certainly helps us plan and, and uh, allows us to map out um, how we're going to remain competitive for that time period. And that was a priority of Christian's, um, that we have the ability to remain competitive um, during his term as a brewer. Um, we believe we can. Um, and, and sure, that was part of our discussions internally of, of how we can make that happen. Bob, on the right. Christian, when you got traded here from Miami a couple of years ago, 
what has surprised you most about now knowing about the whole community and organization that you didn't know before as an outsider? Uh, just that this organization is a family. Um, they take great care of their players, employees, everyone. Um, it's an amazing fan base. It's a great place to play. Uh, and like you said, I didn't really know a lot about it uh, before I was uh, a member of the organization. I came once a year for three or four days, and, and that was really it. Um, <clears throat> but like I said earlier, it's been a, it's been a great experience since day one, um, somewhere that felt natural, somewhere that I really have enjoyed being, and um, excited, I guess, to spend a, a lot more time here. Mark, as somebody that manages money for a living in your day job, hmm. as you call it, um, did it occur to you that uh, when the final numbers were coming together that you paid $223 million for the whole team in 2005? Yeah, you know, Tom, you, you factor, uh, sure, but I, I thought about that more uh, in, in the context of what the sport uh, and the industry has become. And... Uh, and and so it you know that that was 2005 and this is 2020, and uh, you know Kristen will be with us through what I don't know what year two, 2020 or 2028 yeah. 2028 and we'll be paying them beyond that. <laughs> I when, where I got daunted is when I started thinking about how old I would be when he received his last check. <laughs> Uh, definitely my mom, my brothers, my teammates, um, just coaches over the years. There's a lot of people that go into today. Um, it's definitely not just myself. It's been a, a collective effort throughout my life. Um, there's been a lot of great people, and I have no doubt that I wouldn't be here without their contributions and their efforts. And um, that's what makes today special, too. There's been a lot of people that um, made my life a priority over theirs at times, and um, it's just a cool day. Right here, Adam. I was ask Christian a question, but I'll, I'll put it to David and give him a break. Um, David, how does this change your job? In one hand, it, it, it's a good thing. It makes it easier that you have a pro player locked up. On the other hand, to fill around, around him, does that become a different challenge now that that big figure is in place, making the rest of the payroll? I think putting a, a competitive team on the field consistently is always a challenge, and, and we understand that. We recognize that. We've been able to accomplish that collectively over the last three years. Um, Christian's been, been a big part of it since he's, he's been here, and we certainly believe he's going to be a big part of it going forward. That's why you make this level of investment in one player, because you believe that player has the talent and longevity to, to make that type of impact. Um, we think we have the resources um, and, and the ingenuity to, to make it work, and we're going to work really hard to, to make sure that happens. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely um, talked to Ryan about a lot of things, not only about this process, but um, from my first day as a brewer. And his career is taking a similar trajectory as mine as far as, um, you know, just contracts and everything that's really happened. Um, and he was a big part of this and, uh, you know, gave me great advice. And we've talked a lot Um not only about this, but just baseball in general, spending, uh, he's, he spent his entire career as, as a brewer and um, he's done amazing things for this, this organization. So I definitely bounce things off of him. Um, we have a, a great relationship. Um, we go back and forth a lot of times, but uh, <laughs> it's all in good fun. And, and I'm definitely thankful that um, he's embraced me as he has. Um, you know, like I said, since my first day in this organization. So thanks, Ryan. <laughs> you too, love. <laughs> Tom? Christian, considering you grew up in Southern California and then played in Miami, did it surprise you how, 
how great the fit felt to you in the Midwest? And, and it seems like it happened so fast. It did happen very fast. And yeah, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was um, a little surprised, but I always heard great things and everyone always spoke highly of of playing in Milwaukee and just the atmosphere at the, at the ballpark and um, just the culture and the organization so not too surprised uh, once I got here and got to know everybody um, but like I said it, it's been basically a, a great fit since day one yeah Tom I'd like to overlay 2.9 million fans coming in in a very loud crowd every night uh, you know we we thanked a lot of people here. We should thank our fans. Uh, they really are what makes it such a great place to play, the atmosphere in that ballpark. And the fact that year in, year out, they support the team gave me the the comfort that we could, you know, deliver on this contract for Christian. Without that fan support, we wouldn't be here. Adam? For anyone, at what point did you feel like the momentum was there that this was going to happen, that you would get to this game? Probably the day that it did. Uh, <laughs> you know, these things are always they're always kind of up, they're they're always kind of up in the air. Um, and I've been through this process once and, and realized that it starts out a long way out, and then you don't really know um, if it's ever going to see the finish line until um, right at the end. And even then, it's a, it's a big decision. It's the next nine years of your life, and you shouldn't take it lightly. And and you weigh everything when you make a decision like that. And um, we all got together many times in the in the last few weeks, and there was a lot of communication going back and forth. And um, at least from my end, I don't know how, how you two feel about that, but I think uh, I think the goal was always to get it done and see see the finish line. But um, you just never know until um, it's official. On the left so, again, Jesse. By the way, that's true at the Vatican also when the Pope is chosen. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's a case by case basis, I think. And I made two decisions in my life that I felt were right at the time. Um, and when you make those decisions, you you don't really look back. And yeah, chances are that I'm I'm probably never going to see um, free agency. And that's just how my career went. I, I didn't really have any intention of never seeing free agency or always going down this route. It's just this is really how it played out for me. And uh, I don't have any regrets about it, and uh, it's just one of those things in the path that my career took. Take one or two more, Tom. Christian, so many of the VBs we've seen of other players have opt-outs, and it looks like you don't, and you can correct me if no. it's wrong. Yeah. Um, and then they committed back to you with the no trade. That, how, how important was that dual commitment from both sides? Yeah, it, was, it was a partnership, and I, I didn't want to just go into something like this just to – to leave it at, at some point and we never even talked about the possibility of of an opt-out it wasn't something that was you know frankly important to me um and i think kind of the situation that i was into it was it was just it was just never a thing that was was going to happen or and, and i didn't care about it because i wanted to be here for for the long haul and um that's basically how it happened. I'm not sure that's not a great answer, but <laughs> it's just the, it's the truth. I'd say from our side, David, of all the deal points, the quickest agreement on our side was the no trade clause. Yeah, I think the, the, the foundation of this whole thing was a mutual desire to make Christian a brewer for the remainder of his career. And so when that's the foundation um, at the beginning of a negotiation, opt outs and, and trade protection become, become pretty easy points. Does that make this a little unique and modern, you know, contract structures, no opt-outs, no, and the no trade? Yeah, I think it's it's just how the, the desires of both parties here were were to keep this with the intention of, of keeping Brewer here, keeping Christian a Brewer um, for as long as we could. And and that was Christian's desire at the beginning. That was um, the team's perspective at the, at the beginning as well. And so opt-outs never came up, and, and we understood there was going to be trade protection involved. And, uh, 
and I think it works for both sides. Take one more. Christian, are you eager to get on the field now? It's been a while while this has all been working. Yeah. Now it'll be nice to play today for sure. Uh, you know, we were talking about that earlier before we came in here. Um, it's been a while. You know, it's been since September, so it'll be nice to start getting out there, just getting back to, to playing baseball, being with my teammates, and uh, preparing for the season. It'll be a regular spring training after that. We've got plenty of time to get ready, and uh, it's something I'm definitely looking forward to. And with that said, we will let Christian get to the field. Um, uh, David and Mark will stick around for one-on-ones. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, guys. Thank you. There it is. It's official. Christian Yelich will be a brewer through the 2028 season. If all the options are exercised, it's contract worth over $228 million, the richest in franchise history. Full no trade and no opt out among the details that we can discuss with the man who signed it with Christian Brewers GM David Stearns will join us on high heat right after a quick timeout. High heat is brought to you by Grubhub. Order food with the app or at Grubhub.com. Grubhub. Restaurants you love. Delivered. There is a house that stands strong. Built on a foundation of fury, grit, and muscle. And home to only a few. Welcome to the Brotherhood of Muscle. This is going to be America's favorite breakfast. They just don't know it yet. Wendy's uses fresh cracked eggs on all our breakfast sandwiches. Not whatever this stuff is. That's right. See you in the morning. You up for this? If your shirt isn't tucked into your pants, are your pants tucked into your shirt? Constant Contact makes it so easy to create emails for your business, you'll have time to let your mind wander. My shirt isn't tucked into my apron, but technically it's not untucked. But my pants are... wait, no, what? Try email marketing and our new website builder, free. Does that mean my socks are tucked into my shoes? Whoa. I'm loving the all-new camera system on iPhone 11. And I love how it's sprinting. You can get the amazing iPhone 11 for $0 a month when you trade in your iPhone 6S or newer. In any condition. Seriously, in any condition. Turn on my TV and boom, it's got all my favorite shows right there. I wish my trading platform worked like that. Well, have you tried Thinkorswim? Mm -mm. This is totally customizable, so you focus only on what you want. Okay, it's got screeners and watch lists. You can even see how your predictions might affect the value of the stocks you're interested in. Now, this is what I'm talking about.